We are definitely story collectors. I think collecting's in our blood. You know, it's, it's exciting. It's, uh, it's like these little discoveries. It's, um, it's like prospectors who are mining for <laughs> gold. You know, having something that is just shimmering and is so hot and dynamic and compelling, you just have to follow it. Your mind starts immediately hearing all the things that might go with it. The music, the ambiences, the field recordings, the photographs, the other people you might talk to. We say our microphone is a divining rod. You know, it's a Geiger counter, it's a stethoscope, listening to the complicated heart of the nation. We do stories from the B side of history, the sort of the lost, the hidden, the little known, the voices that just don't usually make it to the air. We don't voice our pieces. You don't hear our voices, or very little, um, in most of our stories. When we started out, we were working on this one story about um, Ernie Morgan, the world's champion one-handed pool player. We got there and it was just fabulous, you know, the jukebox, the smoky bar room, the guy, he had this great voice, wonderful storyteller. We, we began to put it together, our voices were in it, and when we listened to it in the studio, it just completely took you out of the place. It became a different story, and I think we began eliminating ourselves. Pretty soon we were out of it, and it, it was very cinematic and very much like you are here and this person is talking to you in your ear. I just got in my blood, it's like a man on dope or drinking whiskey, you know, it gets in the blood, he's gotta have it. I love it, I'd die if I didn't get to play sometime every day a little bit. The football shot, I'll show you that in a minute. The kind of slight perversity of what we do strikes me often. Like sometimes I watch us and we're just bending over backwards, pretzeling ourselves to ask someone to describe everything and make it visual. You know, describe the furniture. Oh, what did it look like in the room that day? Why aren't we just working in visuals? We're trying to get it into that visual dimension, but we want to use that medium of sound. Because, at least with good radio, something about it seeps into you. You are creating it along while you hear it. Your imagination is individualizing what you're hearing. You know, that's the beauty of it all for all of us. I think that's, well, that's storytelling. It's not a literal word, I think, radio. It's definitely a little device that sound comes out of, or it's an art form, but it's a state of mind. Radio is a state of mind. What do you mean by that? Can I just leave it there? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> there's a funk, there's a spirit, there's an attitude. It's not your grandmother's public radio. It's surprising even to the person who's telling it. You know, it's surprising even to the person who lived it. Those moments I really love.